You have a question? You have a question? You got a question on the universe? You are? Anne-Marie. Anne-Marie, hello. Sheena. Sheena, hello. Um, so recently, scientists made headlines um, by discovering exoplanets, and I was wondering, what do you think the chances of Nova Science Now viewers um, being able to live long enough to see discovery of life on these planets? I think life is like the next discovery waiting to happen. Yeah? You know? Well, first, there might be life on Mars, which mm -hmm. is our backyard. So you, you want life, you won't necessarily have to go to an exoplanet to find it. It could be there, there. like like there, right? <laughs> now, the kind of life most people want to find is like intelligent life that you might have a conversation with and learn something from. But right now, we'll take any kind of life at all. And one way to look for life on exoplanets is to see if their atmosphere has what we call biomarkers, the telltale signs that the chemistry of life is at work. For example, in our own atmosphere, we have oxygen. Oxygen, if you left the atmosphere the way it is and removed all the life, the oxygen would slowly go away. It's not stable. So if you see oxygen on a planet, something's there manufacturing in real time. That's right. And so you check for biomarkers. Another thing you might check for is smog. <laughs> so I have to ask, would that mean there's an intelligent life on there or a stupid life on that civilization, on that planet? So, so I think we will know whether or not there's life on those planets within the next 20 or 30 years. Certainly within the natural life expectancy oh, wow. of Nova Science Now viewers. Certainly in life expectancy of you. <laughs> well, that's Great. Good to know. That's okay. Really cool.